Hey, it's Mike here, AFE Aquarium Fish Enthusiast. We're going to talk about one of my favorite fish, an aggressive cichlid from West Africa, the zebra tilapia or the beauty kafari. I think that's how you say it. It's been spelled a couple different ways, but he's a zebra like fish, and I'll get to it right now. He's in my species profile. Hang on. Currently have two of them. This is the smaller one right there. He's housed with some Oscars, some parrotfish. Uh, what else we got in there? A Cuban cichlid, um, a Glenny, a Frontosa. And he seems to be doing pretty good in here. When mixing these guys, you want to make sure he's uh, the smaller one of the group. When I find when they're an equal size, or, more, or if he's bigger, he's just going to dominate in no time. I also have a bigger one that we'll get to in a second. Now, like I was saying, this guy is from West Africa. Um, actually, he was uh, collected in 2005 in Florida, and they've set up, or they now they're established there, and might even be an invasive species. They like uh, water temperature 74 to 78, slightly alkaline pH above seven. Now, as you can see, he's a pretty good looking fish. Mind his manners here. Let's go take a look at the bigger one. Hey everyone, check out this short little clip before we uh, resume. And here we find the very rare and elusive punk rock Karen, away from her natural habitat of back alleys and hot topics. Karen did that to fire mouth. Karen is doing good in her new habitat where she will not pick on anybody. Bye, Karen. Here's the bigger one of the two. Got him with a Sevrum and my bigger Oscars. You can see the red tailed catfish down here. So, uh, usually um, tank size, minimum of 90 gallons, but these guys get between 10 and 16 inches when full grown. So, you're probably going to have to put him in a bigger tank eventually, and he might even need to be housed alone, depending on the size and what you put him with. They are very aggressive, very territorial. They um, will eat plant or meat-based foods, so no problem there. As you see, he's getting along pretty good, but you can see the Oscars got a good size difference on him. And in my opinion, they grow pretty fast, these um, zebra tilapia. So, and they are they eat a lot. But I just can't help it. He's, they're a good looking fish, and I still collect them. The t and then to find the difference between a male and female, they're identical in coloration. They're substrate spawners, so they're going to dig some holes. And if you want to increase them to spawn, you just uh, turn the temperature up a little bit. I wouldn't recommend it for beginners or if you only have one tank. Because odds are he's going to beat up one of his tank mates eventually and you're going to have to separate him. But a very beautiful fish and then the to say the least. So if you have the patience and you have multiple aquariums, he might be the fish for you. I know he is for me. Here's another little clip to show the aggressiveness of this fish. Appreciate you watching as always and you guys have a great day fish family out